yesterday we learned about how to you know use a function module how to call a function module in a program and how exactly you know it works all these concepts you know we learned yesterday now today what we are going to do uh, we are going to learn about how to create a function module yesterday we tried to use the existing uh, you know sap given standard function modules in our program so today we are going to learn our how to create our own function module if the requirement uh, you know if we got a requirement to create one so let's see how it so in order to create a function module we need to go to a t code called sc37 okay so we seen this one yesterday also because uh, to check the standard function modules also we must go to sc37 only okay so here uh, for example if i take yesterday's uh, function module date get week this was the function module sap standard one if we click on execute button it will ask for import parameter and you know based upon the input we given it will give the output parameter okay so now how to create our own so in order to create our one we need to start the naming convention with the g okay g uh, i am giving here so every company you know project has its own naming convention you must follow your own naming convention when creating a function module so now i am going to create a function module okay before starting creating function module let's think about the scenario so what exactly you know for what purpose i am going to create my function module so if we know what purpose then we can design it better okay so i am going to create a function module um, which which you know has import parameter as date and gives me output of cal year means only year information cal month which is you know uh, year and month information and month month information uh, only month and uh, what else um, day okay if possible let's enhance this with further you know input pa further parameters like a day and a cal week also okay so let's try to create a function module which takes date as an input and provides all these you know out uh, information as an output for us okay so let's see it so for this i am going to create a function module the function module technical name i am going to provide as gfm underscore okay um, uh, get get date info okay so all the information from the date so this is the function module I'm going to create. So I given the technical name of my function module and then clicking on create button. So important point here is when we creating the function module, it is it we must group it to a function group. In BW, how if you create any ADS4 or info object, it is mandatory for you to create it under one info area. In the same way, if you are creating a function module, it is mandatory for you to provide the function group also okay then how to create a function group so function group you you have to create in a different screen so what was the transaction code to create a function group sc80 so the function group is only to grouping of all the objects that's it like info area how the importance of it same way function group also has its importance so get go to sc80 and on the top here select the function group okay so now here you need to you know uh, create your own function group i think already you know uh, let's see uh, there is something gfg bw is the one of the function group is there either you create your own function group or use the existing function group so there is someone already created gfg bw and if i go to expand this function group i can see there are uh, two function modules are there okay and some other things are there but let's try to create our own gfg underscore okay um, pwbpc with the username i am trying to create one so i given my technical name and then click on display button since it is not available in the system it is asking to create do you want to create an object yes i want to create it so it is asking for you know this uh, um, function group 
Hatta BWBPC user. Okay, I given some text like this, and then clicking on save button. I will save for the S4 BPC one. S4 BPC user. Now here also, let me go S4 BPC. So now I'm clicking on save button. So it will ask for package. As of now, I'm creating under local package. That's it. Okay. Function group was created. Now right click on the function group. Click on activate button. It was created, but it is not yet active. Okay. So you must activate it. So right click on it. Activate the function group. It will come in this way. Now click on OK button. Then function object was activated. Now you have a success. You successfully created a function group. Now if you see, if you expand this function group, nothing is there under the function group except the include. Okay. Now you are going to use this function group while creating your function module. And short text of this function module. Mm, FM to get details from date. So provide the short text for your function module and then click on save button. So it you will get this kind of message. Function module name is reserved for SAP. Just click on enter or OK button. Uh, it will you know it will go to next screen. So this is the creation uh, you know uh, create uh, creation screen for the function module. So now um, we already discussed uh, what is the requirement of our function module. Our function module must take one input right as a date. So you must define one import parameter. So import parameter as a date and parameter name as a date type. So we must provide one type. If you go to F4 help, here we have two types, type and type reference to. Because our is a parameter, we are giving it as a type. And associated, associated type, it means it is asking about the data type of this date. So either we can choose side datum or you know yesterday we seen right scale underscore hyphen date. This is also one of the date type only. Okay. Scale date. And if you wish to provide any default value for this one, then you can give. Uh, let me check if I if it accepts side datum as a default value. Yeah, it is accepting it. Okay. So side data means it always takes current date as a in in, in you know input. Uh, it always takes current date as a, uh, a default value here, okay? And you see it is showing as optional. So um, because I given default value, it is making as a optional. If you are not giving any default value here, then what happens? If you want to make it, you can you can make it as a not optional also. It, it, if this checkbox was not ticked, then it is nothing but it is mandatory, okay? So if we are giving default value, system takes always there is some value, so it can be optional. If nothing you define as a default value, so without providing date, we cannot move further. So you can, it is not default um, optional value anymore. Okay. So, okay. Anyway, I'm not making it as an optional at this point of time. So now on the export parameters, what is export parameter? Export parameter is used to, uh, provide the output of this function module. So what we thought of, we are providing the output. <coughs> One second. Hmm. One minute. So what we thought of, the output parameters here must be, we already discussed on it. So the year, cal month, month, day, and week. So calier means we know it calier. So for calier, it it is of type again type only because parameter single value associated type. It means it we need to provide the data type of this calier. So here we cannot give care length and everything. So we must provide one data element here. Okay, if we go to F for help, you see it is asking to select either data element, structure, type, and like this. So we know as a bw consultant we must know you know we have some info objects which is which are related to the calier okay i'm going to rs d1 i'm giving here zero calier okay if i give zero calier you see there is a data element which gives the data type for this calier i'm copying this uh, data element 
and providing it as an associated type. Okay. Similarly, I am going to give Calmuth here, and uh, I am giving this K uh, zero O I Calmuth. So system will take you know data type from this data element. Similarly, um, month of type slash b i zero slash o i um, cal month two. Okay. So day. Uh, what about day? Do we have one data type for day and cal week also? We have it. So first, let's learn with these three remaining we see later. Okay, so I defined my input parameter and I defined my export parameter also. Okay, now the next thing is we need to write the source code based upon the input and export parameters I defined. System will suggest this you know uh, comment. So keep it like this. By seeing it, I get to know you know what is the different you know these things are. Now activate. So you can uh, you can activate the function module even without writing any code in it also. Okay, so now we are, we need to implement the code in order to get all this information. So what is happening? Whatever input I am giving, that input is coming and storing under this date. So now using this date parameter, I need to derive the remaining three. So how to derive calier? So calier is equal to. So I need to pass some output to the calier variable. So that's why I am writing calier is equal to. Um, date of by using offset operator I am deriving the date information okay year information so date of 4 we already learned about how to use offset operator right so in the date I am having the complete date in yyy mmdd format from that I am taking four characters which gives the year information so I given this one like this so if I click on check button all good similarly I want to derive cal month Cal month is equal to date of 6, which gives the year and month information. So cal uh, month, month is equal to date of, using offset operator, I need to get only the month information plus 4 of 2, which gives, you know, like this, check, activate, execute. Now you see I am done with the, you know I am I am able I am passing I am deriving all the three required output parameters. So now I am trying activated the function module. I am trying to execute the function module. Now I am trying to test it. So now date is of type date parameter, right? So I need to provide the date information 26 10 2022. I am giving the date here and clicking on execute button. You see, I got cal year, cal month, and month. All three got derived successfully. Okay. So this function module was working as expected. So now what is my next thing? Since uh, I am done with creation of function module, now I will try to utilize this function module in my program. Consume. Okay. So copy the function module name. Go to, you know, your program. Try to uh, use it. So how to how to consume how to call a function module in a program? Click on the pattern button. Provide the function module name. Click on OK button. You see it came because date is a mandatory parameter. It is uh, uncommented. So here I need to provide the date side item. For example, I am giving side item as an input to it, and I must receive these three output parameters so how we are going to do as i told you to receive you need to provide some local variables lv underscore cal year lv underscore cal month lv underscore month okay but these three variables first you need to define in your program so go to data section define lv underscore cal year so when you are defining lv underscore cal year you must define with the data type which was defined in the function module so if i go to function module in the function module i defined this particular cal year with data type this one so you also must use the same data type to define your variable okay it is very important and mandatory for very important step i can say cal month type
Realmente. Month two. Okay, uh, so I defined three variables and I'm using those three variables to uh, capture the output. So now I am writing this, uh, you know, output on the screen. L U underscore calier, right? New line operator to print it on the new line. Cal month. Month. Emma. So, LV month, activate and then click on execute. You see, these three were got executed because I given input parameter as a side item. For example, if you want to give the side item as an input to your program, you must create one parameter variable. Parameters, P underscore date, type side item, okay, and pass this parameter as a input to your function module. You see now parameters coming here. So whatever date you got, you can select here, click on execute button, and it is giving the corresponding output. Okay. So now if I put breakpoint at line number 14 and trying to understand how it is working, click on execute button. We must select a date, select a date of 30, click on execute button. It will stop at function module. So you see yesterday we didn't debug at the standard function module, but if this is our custom one, we can do it. So if I press F5, because single step F5, it will go inside of the function module execution. So currently, if you see, P underscore date contains the whichever input we given and LV calier month and month LV month. These three currently initial. Okay. When I press F5, it will go inside of the function module. The, now it went to the code of the function module. In the core function module code, we are receiving the cal date, whatever I am providing this P date, we are receiving it under this date variable. You see, date variable contains 2021 1030. This cal year, cal month, and month are currently initial. Now, when I press F5, now cal year got derived here, month is derived, and month uh, cal month and month also got derived. So we are done with the function module code. After executing the function module code, it will again return to the program. Currently, we are in function module code. Now we again we are returning. You see the icon also here. It is showing return to the back, return back to the original program. So I came here. So by this time, whatever derived on these three are assigned to these three variables. You see now, these three are assigned. Now we are writing all the three on the output screen. Okay, that's it. So this is how to create a simple function. Okay, so now, okay, this is one simple example we learned. So now we are going to learn one more example, you know, uh, one more example, we are going to create one more function module, you know, which is helpful to understand better about function module. Okay, so we created G, get, get date in for it. Now I'm going to create one, um, one with string functions. Okay.